Okay, here we go. So I'm going to move around, and what we're going to do is we're going to attack. Like this. Hello and welcome to Hi-Ai. hi, -ai. hi -ai in Japanese means fast, and this is exactly the kind of attribute you'll require to do pretty well in this game. As you can see, I only have one out of 20 achievements unlocked, so you can kinda, yeah, maybe you can tell how good I am at this. Anyway, I picked this game up from, with, with my own money, actually. When I saw it on my Twitter timeline, I thought to myself, oh yeah, this looks like something I will very much enjoy, and it's one of those, oh, one more, one more try, one more attempt kind of games. If you'd like to check it out, there is a link in the description. You have a choice between five different characters. Uh, initially, you're only going to have the ability to choose three. You can choose between uh, Kazuya, Tomoe, and Oda, and they all have uh, different attributes. So, for example, uh, Kazuya, well, what can he do? Well, he's kind of the most basic character, but he is very important in the way that he moves faster. So that's that's basically it, he moves faster. However, Oda, he's my favorite so far, generally because he has two lives. So it's he's a little bit more forgiving, but even so, it's still very difficult. Anyway, yeah, so he has two lives and also whenever he is damaged, in other words, whenever he loses one life, he uh, kills every enemy on the screen, which is actually fantastic. And he has less of a combo multiplier. So as far as I'm aware, you're probably going to get less points for uh, getting getting uh, score and kills with him. Uh, that could just be me, but I think that's the case. Anyway, Tomoe, I haven't played her yet. Personally, I think that she is probably going to be the most fun to play with because attacking doesn't require a full bar and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about when i'm when i'm saying full bar and we're gonna actually try her out straight away just so you can see what's actually going on here okay so i'm just gonna pause the game real quick because i want to just explain something real fast you see that the, the top of the screen right there that's not my life bar that is my attack bar i die in one hit enemies die in one hit and the most unique thing about this game is that you draw your attack line. So let me see if I can actually show you this without dying instantly. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna move around and what we're gonna do is we're going to attack like this. And you see what I mean? That is exactly how uh, attacking works in this game. It is actually amazing and super, super fun. And it seems like, hmm, seems like she's actually very fun. I like it. I'm gonna have to go over here though because I really want to take out that projectile user if at all possible. I am very bad at this game. I have already said that of course, but it is not an understatement. That is for sure. It is not an understatement. So I'm gonna very much try to stay alive here, but <laughs> oh, it is not easy. Not easy, especially when there's a huge amount of projectiles and so forth on the screen. Ah, okay, there we go, there we go. Attack, attack, attack. There we are. I might be able to stay alive just that little bit longer. Nice. I got Combo Master. I got another achievement. Very, very, very good. Okay, I uh, did not expect that. Okay, here we go. Maybe I can get a little bit more. Okay, here we go. Ah, dead. Okay, I am dead. Uh, so that's it. That, that's basically the gameplay loop in High Eye. And in my opinion, I feel like this is so incredibly fun. It really is. Okay, so I quit because we unlocked our next character. And as you can see, his name is Masashige, I guess. I, I, I don't know. I'm very bad at pronunciation. Anyway, his abilities destroys surroundings at the end of his attack. Attacks use the entire bar. And you also have a slower bar refill and slower movement. Okay, that's actually kind of interesting. Okay, let's try him out and see how he see how he is. Okay, so he destroys his environment at the end, right? He destroys the area around him. Oh, okay. Hello there. Okay, that's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, that is a massive area. Boom. Okay, hello. That is very, very fun. Okay, let me see if I can maybe 
uh, just to stay alive, basically. That oh yes, oh the the amazing damage that we can deal with that. That is super nice. Unfortunately, I haven't really taken advantage of it so far. It does destroy the projectiles in the area though, which is actually super nice. There we go. Nice. Oh, we, we got hit. Okay. Yeah, we got hit, unfortunately, but there you go. Let me see if I can do a little bit better this time around. And that's exactly the reason why I found this game enthralling. I thought to myself, yes, this is the kind of thing I would like to be able to play and try to, <laughs> try to actually do well at. But yes, it's one of those, you know, it's one of those very addictive games but very simple, but done in such an amazingly polished fashion that you you really just cannot put it down. Or at least in my opinion, I can't put it down. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually have a little bit of strategy here this time. So I'm going to go for the projectile, um, projectile enemies as much as I can. And we're just going to try and run through the rest as much as possible. Going to have to be very, very careful. Ah, can I, can I survive? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, there we go, there we go. Ah, no, I walked into the projectile right there. Mm, still not, I still didn't do as well as I did before. That's crazy, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. You're constantly trying to improve yourself. You're constantly trying to think of ways that you can improve your run. Okay, wait a minute. It might actually be a better strategy for me to just end my attack over here. Boom, that was some nice damage. Okay, I'm basically just going to try and kill the projectile users at the moment. Nice. Oh, he got me. Yeah, unfortunately, my attack, you see, my attack basically renders me a little bit immobile at the end. Because when he does the, um, you know, destroying his surroundings at the end of his attack, that kind of stuns him a little bit. It kind of keeps him immobile for a small amount of time, but that amount of time is enough to get him in a really bad position. So, yeah, okay. Um, she's got the highest score so far, which I thought would actually be the case. When, um, when I saw her abilities, I thought, yeah, she's really going to be very, very good. I'd like to unlock the, the last guy. So let's see if I can get another three achievements. So shall we go back to Kazuya? He's the first guy I played with. But let's say I didn't do very well. So let's try him out. Maybe we can do a little bit better here. As you can see, his movement speed is amazing. It's really, really fast. So super nice. Uh, there we go. Let's just try and eliminate as many of them as I can. And I can only attack with a full bar with this guy, by the way. <laughs> oh, me running in. Ah, oh, yes. Me running straight into the enemy. That is a classic and a half, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Yeah, so I can only attack with a full bar with this guy, so I have to very much be careful of how I am moving, and I need to make sure that I'm not using my attack bar too much, but obviously that's very difficult. You wanna make sure that you're doing as much damage as you possibly can. I'm gonna try and eliminate the archer, there we go. And uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 we're doing okay. We're doing okay so far. Oh, that was. <laughs> I actually thought to myself, yes, that was actually really good. But then bad, the... then bad things, bad things happened. Yes, bad things happened. Okay, let me see. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad if I can just make sure that I don't get myself murdered by the projectiles, then I should be okay. I mean, that's the that's the main difficulty for me at the moment. Okay, the projectile guy is down here. Let's kill him, kill everyone else. There we go. Oh, it seems like it's actually working quite nicely here. Nice, 11 kills. 11 kill streak. Oh, and then I got hit by the archer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that will happen to me almost all the time. Okay, let's be careful. Let's be careful. It's probably a good idea for me to not run around the outside. I feel like running around the outside 
is kind of detrimental because that means I can't see where the enemies are coming from most of the time, which is kind of bad, I guess. Okay, there we go. Let's attack. Get as many of them dead as possible. Try and stay alive. There we go. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, no, that's, that's really bad. I'm super inaccurate as well when I get flustered like this. So this is definitely not good. Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, we almost got the 15. We almost got to 15. Can I can I do it? I might be able to do it. Nope, that's 11. That is 11. Okay, here we go. This might be better. Maybe I could do it. Maybe I can get to 15. No, 13 and then dead. Oh well, never mind. I think I did actually get to Yeah, I got to 8000. I got to 8,000 points. If only I had gotten to 10,000 points, I would have gotten an additional achievement right there. So yeah, I actually did okay with him. But of course, if I had just gotten Combo Master as well, that would have made all the sense. Ah, I won't have mind, never mind. Maybe I can actually do the 10,000 points achievement with Tomoe. I think maybe it would be possible. Let's try it out. Okay, so we're going to have to focus on... Survival. So, survival is round about like so. There we go. Not too bad. Just gonna try and remain calm. Okay, remain calm. <laughs> uh, you know, I could survive quite easily to 60 seconds. That's one of the achievements, of course. Surviving 60 seconds is definitely something that you can aim for. And I think it's actually not even difficult to do, really. I mean, yes, it's definitely one of the more difficult achievements, in my opinion, at least. But it's not out of the realm of possibility. If you're actually, you know, paying attention like you should be, obviously, at this point, then uh, might be might be somewhat easier than some of the others. Okay, here we go. I would like to eliminate this and that archer. Not really trying too much for combos right now. I'm basically just trying to stay alive because that is the main deal here. Ah, uh, no. Oh, no. Bad things. Bad things. Bad things. Oh, no. Oh, can I survive a minute? Yes, I survived 60 seconds. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Now, the only thing that I need to do is, um, well, I would actually have liked to have gotten uh, a 15... <laughs> I would have liked to have gotten the 15 kill streak, but unfortunately, no, it doesn't look as though I will be able to do that right there. Oh, I actually did do that. Never mind. I did that before. Oh, okay. Well, that's absolutely fine then. So I need one more achievement to unlock the, the last character. I think I can probably do it with this guy, with Oda. I think we might be able to get to 5,000 points now that I am a little better at the basic... The basic mechanics, I guess you could kind of say. Maybe, if I can actually count myself like that, then maybe it would be... I don't know. Maybe we can do it. Obviously, if you are a lot more accurate with your mouse movements, then of course it is going to be a slight bit easier for you to achieve victory. Nice. We got to 13. Wow. That's pretty good. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to get murdered. Uh, I am going to get murdered. Oh, oh, actually, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was such a huge mistake on my part. Never mind, never mind. Okay, so obviously he has two lives. 
Never mind. He did reach 5,000 points, which is all that we really needed. So there you go. We reached 5,000 points and now we have Hideyoshi. Okay, fantastic. So let's have a look here. Almost no delay between attacks. No slow-mo during attacks. Faster movement and a two times combo multiplier. So this guy is basically hard mode, in my opinion. It feels like hard mode to me, so let's have a look. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, that is... Okay, this is... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it hard mode or is it god mode? I'm actually not sure. Okay, it's hard mode. It's hard mode. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, you've got to go really fast. You have to go really fast with this guy. Like, really fast. Okay. Yeah, you, you have to be very quick. You have to be very, very quick. Wow, I have no idea how you're supposed to play this guy. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you were a little bit more accurate than I am at using the mouse, then it would probably be quite a bit easier for you. But generally, yes, I am finding this very, very difficult. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Can I? Oh, no. What am I doing? I'm going off the map all of a sudden now. Not particularly good. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, don't get shot, please. No delay between attacks. I mean, look, th 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 basically you could consider this god mode, kind of, if you're good enough. But me, no, I'm obviously not that. So that is definitely making things very, very difficult because there's no slow-mo, right? You know, there's no slow-mo whenever you are drawing the line, which is obviously the main strength of the other ones. Oh, it makes everything much, much easier for you. Okay, there we go. Let's try and kill this. I mean, bear in mind that the cursor actually disappears when you are moving around. So I, I really should just bring attention to that because that means that you don't really know where your mouse is when actually um, attempting to uh, aim it. You know what I mean? You don't know where your cursor is at that point, And as a result, it's kind of like, well, where do I go with this? You know, how do I do it? and so on. So it's uh, it's a bit difficult. Ah. Yeah, I almost survived. I actually almost survived 60 seconds. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think 60 seconds is not even bad. Actually, wait a minute. Maybe I could just do this. I could theoretically do this. I mean, no, no, I couldn't do that. Okay, I was thinking about a, a strategy that may, might make it easier for me, but I'm thinking, no, that's probably not going to work. But as I said, I personally feel like the the design choice to make it so that you don't have the cursor on the screen all the time, you only have it when you are holding down the button to actually attack, I feel like that's a very clever one. Because that basically means, yeah, you're not going to be able to, well, uh, should we say preset where you're going to end up attacking, which is actually part of the reason why you might think, oh yeah, that's that's definitely um, that's definitely going to make it much easier if you had that functionality. But obviously that's not there because that's intended. <laughs> it's obviously very much intended. Okay, let me see what I can do here. Okay, so I don't think I use the entire bar. No, I don't use the entire bar with uh, Kazuya here. So I'm actually thinking if I go for um, shorter attacks... Uh, go for shorter attacks, he says, as he uses the entire bar and gets murdered. Oh well, never mind. Okay, you know what? That's going to be it for this episode. If you'd like to check out Hi Hi, and I would highly recommend it. It is so incredibly affordable as well. It is, I believe, about $3, $2. I'm actually not entirely sure. It's really, really cheap. And in my opinion, so incredibly worth it. It really, really is. And uh, there is a link in the description if you want to check it out yourself. I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.